Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Motis, and today I want to talk to you about building your own personal website. This is very important to anyone. Doesn't matter if you're a student, a business professional, photographer, a goat herder, or even a basket weaver. Having a central location for people to get to know more about you or even just show off your portfolio is very important. Now for me as a YouTuber, it's super important because it provides another location to place my videos. And on top of that, it's another place to put those links to my videos. So great for search engine optimization. Now to show you how to do this, I've teamed up with a fantastic company called Wix. They are a website building platform, very easy to use. You don't need any coding skills at all to get your website set up and started. So this is the first thing you're going to see after you've signed up and created an account with Wix. It's going to ask you what kind of website do you want and give you a bunch of options. Now you can select whatever you want, but because I'm making a website for a tech YouTube channel, I'm gonna go ahead and click other. So the first thing we're gonna do is click start with Wix ADI. Then it's gonna ask you for the type of website. I'm gonna say tech blog, because I want not only my videos to show, but I also want a section where I can write things so people can read. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now I'm not selling anything online, I'm not taking or booking an appointments, I'm just getting subscribers, so I'm gonna select that box, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click next. My name is gonna be my name. That's it, you can call it whatever you want. I don't have an address for this, so I'm gonna skip it. Now for this section, it's gonna ask you to add a logo. It's also gonna ask you for your address and your information. Now, my YouTube channel doesn't need to have an address and a phone number, so I'm gonna skip entering that, but if yours does, go ahead and enter it. But I am gonna add my social media networks. All right, now I need a nice logo to go at the top, and I already have a picture of myself over here, so I'm gonna add that. Beautiful, click next. All right. Hello, I am ADI, Wix's Artificial Design Intelligence. So I'm gonna click Start. Now it's gonna ask me to select a design based on what I like. So these are all great. I'm gonna stick with Bounce. I think it looks very simple. Click Continue, Create My Homepage. All right, I think that already looks nice. Realistically, I can go ahead and click Publish and call it a day, but I think I'm gonna change the way the color looks on this webpage. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Site Design at the top left and choose a different site design to work with. These are all great and there's a lot more suggestions than before, but I'm gonna stick with Agile because I like the red and blue and white. Now, I notice I put my face there, but I should probably put my logo. And if you wanna change it, it's very simple. You just click on it and then a little header will pop up on the left on the left side and you click on replace and then you can select your logo from any of the images that you have uploaded. That's better. Now it looks a little bit more professional. And let's say you don't like this header. Let's say you want it to be a little bit more condensed. All you have to do is click on layouts and select the style of header you want. I want something a little bit more simple. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. Now I already have some predefined pages that I created for me. I have a home, a blog page, a subscribe page, and a contact page. I'm gonna get rid of some of these pages. But first I wanna get rid of the phone number because I don't have a phone number. You click on the header and on the left side you have that little pane and then you just Select the phone number, hit delete, you can save it, it'll get rid of it, it's gone. I like the fact that the social media icons are there, so I'm going to leave that for now. And the next thing I'm going to change is the menu. I definitely need a gear page and I also want an about me page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on page on the top left hand corner and I'm going to add another page from the bottom. So, I already have an about selection here and I can select the way I want it to look. So if you wanna change anything, all you have to do is click on it. So I don't like this picture because it's not a picture of me. I'm gonna go ahead and click on replace, select myself, click apply, and there we go. So I got a home and about, but I also wanna add a contact page. So again, I go to the top left, click on page, and then on the bottom, click on add page, and then I can click on contact, here we go. Now I got myself a contact page. People can leave their name, their subject, and you can go ahead and edit this by just double clicking on it and it'll give you the options on the left hand side. And the last page I wanna add is a gear page because later on, I am gonna be selling some gear. So I'm gonna click on online store for now, select one of these templates which look great, click okay. And now I can go ahead and put any of my devices that I'm selling on here and people can buy them. 
All right, so this is where we go over to the Wix editor now to really get down to the nitty gritty. So to do that, on the top hand right, you select site and then you click on go to editor. Now, once you do go to the editor, just be warned, you cannot go back to the ADI. So make sure you've done all the little things you wanted to do first before jumping over. All right, I think this looks awesome. Now I'm gonna change the strip background just because I want it to be just a regular color because I'm gonna get rid of this big area over here and put my videos there. So to do that, you just move your mouse anywhere on the strip, click on change strip, and you can select a different background. I'm just gonna choose a plain color. I think a nice blue looks nice. So I'm gonna go with that, close that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this middle thing. I don't want it to say Matthew Mona's. I actually want my videos to be there. So I'm just gonna select it and you just hit the delete button and it goes away. It's very drag and drop, it's super simple. So to add videos, I gotta add an add-on. And to do that, you click on the plus sign on the left-hand side, click add, scroll down to video, and then you can select a video player. I'm gonna go with the classic version because I want to show one video and then a, all my other videos underneath it. And you just gotta drag and drop it. So now because it's not center, all you have to do is grab the size and then it's just extend it like this. Extend it that way. It's automatically gonna fit for you. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space just so I can have some blue peeking through. I think it looks nicer. And I can just kind of adjust this. Now obviously this is not my videos. This is a predefined one by Wix. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And to do that, again, you just click on the, the videos that you added click on manage videos, select save changes. Now you can do this in two ways. You can upload your own videos or you can just select your channel. I have my channel here, so I'm just gonna select my channel right now. All right, and that's what it looks like after you added your videos. Now everything is pulled directly from my YouTube channel. I don't have to do any copying and pasting of links, just throw your YouTube channel on there and it'll take care of the rest for you. Now I don't need this to say my channel, so I'm gonna go back into the settings by clicking on the settings button and I'm gonna edit the layout a little bit. So under settings, I don't want to show my channel name because I already have that at the top, which is Matthew Mona's. I do want to share my channel button because I want people to share it. I don't want show channel info and I don't want show sign in. So now it's gonna get rid of those icons on the right hand side over here so you can see it a little better. Now below I got some sample posts of what your posts will look like, but I don't like this recent post stuff on the left hand side, on the right hand side. So I'm gonna get rid of it by just selecting each little tab and deleting it. Oh, that was too much, bring that back. Control Z to bring things back if you delete something you don't want. Now that's a little bit blank. I wanna put some social media stuff on the right hand side so I have more things to look at. And you do the same thing you did with video. You click on the plus sign, which is the add button, and then you scroll down until you see social. I'm gonna add an Instagram feed because I think that would look cool. So you just select it and then if you take this little circle area, you just drag and you make it exactly what size you want it and it'll adjust for you automatically. Now I want this to align with the top. I'm gonna to move these, actually gonna move both of these up more because there's too much white space. And then I'm gonna change the layout to show three images per row and I want three rows. I think that looks good, but I'm not done yet. I wanna add a few more things. I wanna add my social media icons below it. I know I have them at the top of the page already, but I want to make sure people see it all the time. And to do that, you click on add again, you go to social, and then you can choose different icons. I like this one because they're all colored. I'm gonna put that directly below. And I also wanna make this bigger. I think it's starting to look really good, but there's one more thing I wanna do before I hit the publish button. I wanna see how it looks like as a preview before I publish it. And I also wanna check it out on mobile. The preview button, which will show, show us the website without any grids and rulers in the way. So I think that looks pretty sweet. People can watch my YouTube video right now, right in the channel right here, and if you wanna see how it looks on mobile, you just click on the little phone at top and then click edit mobile view. And this is what my website's gonna look like if someone's looking at it on a phone. So that's the cool thing about Wix. Whatever website you design, it will automatically configure it and customize it to have a good mobile experience. So that's it, I now have a full-fledged functioning website. People are ready to get to know me. 
there's another place for my YouTube videos to go. And I also have more links connecting people to the work that I do. So that wraps up this tutorial on how to build a website. I hope I made it pretty easy and straightforward for you guys. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description down below that will take you to the Wix website and you can go ahead, sign up and get started. There's tons of templates to choose from. It's very easy to use. And you can even do things there like buy your own domain and transfer a website from another place you already have yours to their platform. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.